So Tom, as a partner in our corporate team, what are your three top tips for those considering a sale of their family business? My first tip is to keep running the business until the sale actually goes through. I think the risk is that people are mentally um, out of the door, um, pack their bags and off, and um, if they allow a relationship with an employee or with a supplier or customer, any of those things to deteriorate, that undermines the value of the business, uh, and potentially that impacts either on the sale, in terms of reduced valuation on the sale, or if the sale doesn't go through, then they re-inherit the business and it may be worth less for them. So my second top tip is to understand where the money is coming from. Uh, it's surprising how many deals actually progress along the way, way past heads of terms, um, and all of a sudden the seller will uh, realise that the buyer either doesn't have the money or doesn't have it in the form that they originally thought. That can change the, the structure of the deal, or it can make the deal fall over actually. So my third tip is to be realistic, and that applies across the board with the deal, but I suppose in two areas really, uh, specifically. The first is around the timetable. That tends to be dictated by the buyer rather than the seller, so you need to be uh, having honest conversations with the buyer at the outset. And the second is around your own ability to work in the business post-completion. Again, it's very easy to be seduced into thinking that you can work on in the business to help with a handover. You need to have an honest conversation with yourself about how easy you're going to find that. So if you'd like to talk to someone about possibly selling your business, my contact details will appear shortly.